Homeward bound daily devotional by Alan G. White. Two sanctuaries, October 7th. Moses was admonished of God when he was about to make the tabernacle. For see, says he, that thou make all things according to the pattern showed thee in the mount. Hebrews chapter 8, verse 5. This is the only sanctuary that ever existed on earth of which the Bible gives any information. This was declared by Paul to be the sanctuary of the first covenant. But has the new covenant no sanctuary? Turning again to the book of Hebrews, the seekers of truth found that the existence of the second sanctuary or new covenant sanctuary was implied in the words of Paul already quoted. Then verily, the first covenant had also ordinances of divine service and a worldly sanctuary. And the use of the word also intimates that Paul has before made mention of this sanctuary. Turning back to the beginning of the previous chapter, they read, Now of the things which we have spoken, this is the sum. We have such an high priest who is set on the right hand of the throne of majesty in heaven, a minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle, which the Lord pitched and not man. Hebrews chapter 8 verses 1 and 2. Here is revealed the sanctuary of the new covenant. The sanctuary of the first covenant was pitched by man, built by Moses. This is, the, this is pitched by the Lord, not man. In that sanctuary the earthly priests performed their service. In this Christ our great high priest ministers at God's right hand. One sanctuary was on earth, the other in heaven. Further, the tabernacle built by Moses was made after a pattern. The Lord directed him, According to all that I show thee after the pattern of the tabernacle, and the pattern of all the instruments thereof, even so shall ye build it. And again the charge was given, Look that thou make them after their pattern, which was shown thee in the mount. Exodus chapter 25 verse 9 and verse 40. And Paul says that the first tabernacle was a figure of the time then present in which were offered both gifts and sacrifices, that its holy places were patterns of things in heaven, that the priests who offered gifts according to the law served unto examples and shadows of heavenly things, and that Christ is not entered into a holy place made with hands, which are figures of the true, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God for us. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 9 and verse 23, and Hebrews chapter 8 verse 5, and Hebrews chapter 9 verse 24. Thank you for listening. This is your daily devotional. We hope you can listen again tomorrow. Homeward Bound